Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are looking at the last topic of this chapter that is 3.3.5 support for a variety of target systems. In this particular tutorial we will be understanding how a task will be applicable to support different configurations of a software product. Now in this segment generally we try to understand a task may be capable enough to support different configurations of a software product and different configuration refers to any of these following which is listed here the number and the interaction of the SUT components environment on which the SUT component runs so that means the components and various environments can vary and they can have different platform altogether and still the task will be compatible enough to support them on different environments similarly technologies programming languages or prior operating system used to implement this SUT components will also be applicable whereas libraries and packages the SUT components are using is also one among them Whereas tools used to implement the SUT components will be limited to certain level. As you can talk about, the first four aspect impacts the test on any test level. It, let it be anything, like when you talk about the component integration, these are all the prerequisite or basis for executing a automation test. Whereas when you talk about tools, it is only limited to component level or integration level testing. So it might be required only for these two levels, but whereas other things like number, or interactions, uh, interconnections, environments, technologies, languages, libraries, ever, everything else would be required for all the other levels. So the ability of a task to test different software product configuration is determined when the architecture is defined. So during the architecture definition itself, the details of the task will be determined that whether it will be able to support different configurations or not. So similarly, uh, the task has to implement the ability to understand like what exactly the requirement will be, what exactly the different configurations will be, and considering that the task will be prepared in accordance to meet the expectation. Further in continuation, the handling of the task variety in relation to variety of the software product can be dealt with differently in different manners. So how different that can be? Version configuration management for the TAS and SUT can be used to provide the respective versions and configurations of the TAS and SUT that fit to each other. So that, that way we just try to recall the, from the previous tutorial that how a TAS and SUT are uh, reusable or how they are compatible with each other. So all those importance when can, can be recalled here to understand how that can be also required further as a combination to support different varieties of the talk systems. As well as the task parameterization can be used to adjust the task to an SUT configuration. So that's quite understandable. It is important at the same time to note that while design for the task variability is mainly a matter for the TAA, that is the architecture, the maintenance of and the improvements for variability are a concern throughout the task lifecycle. It requires continuous consideration and effort to revise, add, and even remove options and forms of variability. So I think that was quite clear to understand how the different and variety of target systems are supported by the task development. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with the next chapter. But before that, we'll be getting back to you with sample questions from this chapter. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Should you have anything, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.